The Custodes, also known as the Brotherhood of Demigods and the Golden Legion, these 10,000 are the best of humanity, the peak of human genetic engineering by the Emperor. They are the mightiest of mankind's warriors, created to unite humanity into a galaxy-spanning imperium and to serve as the bodyguards and companions to a god emperor that is immortal and has psychic powers that rival that of the chaos gods which are warp entities of near omnipotence. So here in this video we are going to compare these two marvel heroes and figure out where they stand in the power hierarchy there. To do this we have to first talk a bit on their stats. Let's get to it. The custodians stand around 2.7 meters or 9 feet tall and weigh 400 to 500 kilograms or 880 to 1100 pounds. They have a running speed of 200 to 250 kilometers per hour or translating into miles which means 125 to 155 miles an hour which is at a constant pace and this is inferred by the statement that even space marines who could run at 60 to 70 miles an hour are in awe of their agility, barely being able to keep up with their movements. They are stated to have a reaction speed or a reflex reaction of one microsecond which is one millionth of a second meaning they have the ability to dodge any bullet or even laser fire. They are said to be able to lift and kick over a tank with ease and in that universe heavy tanks weigh 50 to 100 tons and that can be thought of as their brute strength or lifting power. They are all handpicked and educated right from the start as babies. As a result they all have genius level intellects and are educated in the highest forms of knowledge including all types of futuristic sciences, skills and statecraft. Not just that but their minds are fortified and toughened to a point where they are able to resist warp corruption and sorcery, including mind control. Most of these custodians are centuries old, their median age is around 500 to 1000 years which means that they have centuries worth of battle experience in addition to their training on all forms of combat, tactics and strategies. They can fight for weeks without rest, being able to withstand and defend against thousands of enemy forces without proper sleep or food. They have a duty called the 100 years vigil where they stand motionless for a century keeping guard outside the palace walls guarding the corpse emperor which means they don't really feel fatigue and they can fight with half a face blown off which means they don't feel pain as well. Their biology is tuned to the max and their genes have been infused with the gene seed or blood of the god emperor meaning that their endurance and resilience is incomprehensible and along with their enhanced strength, their enhanced speed, intellect and endurance their senses are tuned to the superhuman levels and to add to that they also have a fast regeneration rate or a super healing factor with a report of one being able to heal a broken leg in under 5 minutes while still battling against Chaos and Xenos enemies. In addition to their super biology, they also have superpower armor that is made of a quantum inert substance called Oromite which is as durable or even more durable than many inches of tank armor as well as having the ability to deflect off psychic attacks. With it they can survive kiloton ranged explosions in close vicinity of the blast. And lastly to top it all, they have access to dark age of technology equipment which means the best tech in the galaxy. With their main weapons being the power spears that have both a combo of ranged weapons attached to them like the bolters and disintegration beams as well as having a finely tuned blade to cut off enemies. So with all that in mind, let's take a look at where they stand in the tier list of the Marvel Universe characters. Imagining them in a fight with these superheroes, keeping in mind that it's always a fight to the death and there is no plot armor. Firstly, the lower rung of Marvel heroes like Hawkeye, Black Widow, Falcon, the Winter Soldier, Star-Lord etc are basically just bugs waiting to be squashed. A custodian could just stand still and let them hit it with everything they got and it still won't put a dent in their Oromite armor. These are basically just normal baseline humans with a bit of technology. I would imagine that even one custodian could kill 10 of them in a quick instant in melee combat and maybe a bit longer with range taking into effect. Star-Lord with his spaceship would be a bit of a challenge but if that's the case then even the custodians have their own deadly warships. Therefore in person to person scenarios, all these are chum at the end. Now what about the higher tier list of superheroes? The enhanced super soldiers and the super powered individuals which are considered higher than humans but less than gods. These would be the likes of um, Captain America, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Venom, Iron Man, Wolverine and Groot. So firstly the star spangled hero Steve Rogers 
is stated to be able to run as fast as 60 miles an hour or 100 kilometers per hour. And also the Black Panther can match that or exceed it by a bit. Just by those stats, they are already at a disadvantage since these custodies are twice as fast coupled with a reaction speed that is faster than the fractions of a blink of an eye. The one defense that these two have though is their unique vibranium equipment which is off the charts in elemental power scaling. But once they get through these by their trained tactics of stripping off an opponent's defenses, there is nothing that can save the heroes from the custodies wrath. The same goes for Spider-Man who although is fast and nimble with his spidey senses, will not be able to go toe to toe with one of these sons of the emperor for any extended amount of time and remember the custodies can fight for weeks without stop. They have flamers and incendiary weapons as well, so Venom is kaput, Groot as well will be just cinder at the end. They will all go in the same way of the fire. Now Wolverine and Iron Man here pose two different types of challenges for the custodies. One is super fast and can fly to avoid melee fighting while the other is basically immortal and cannot be killed. One has a speed advantage in the air while the other is slow but he can heal from any attack. Iron Man can fire the unibeam at the custodies but you know it will only be dodged again and again and after a while the arc reactor and his power would run out. The custodian warrior would just be able to wait out the attacks, dodging and waiting for the Iron Man armor to finally power down to a point where it can be caught up with. Otherwise Iron Man can just fly away. And that's an L2. For Wolverine, the mutant with his adamantium claws, this would be a greater risk but only if he was fast enough to get to the custodies within range. With a microsecond reaction speed and an endurance and patience worth 100 years, Wolvi would just tire out and then the custodians could use the disintegration beams of the superpower weapons to weaken the mutant and then use the Wolverine's own claws to impale his head while he heals. But since Logan is immortal, this fight would again last a very long time. He would just heal and come back to fight. But in the end, it's always a loss for the X-Men mutant unless he gets a lucky strike, but it should be a killing strike. So now let's compare the custodians to the lower god tier heroes of the Marvel Universe. The ones like Magneto, Thor, Captain Marvel, the Hulk and Doctor Strange or the Scarlet Witch. So starting with Magneto, it all comes down to one thing. Can Magneto control or influence the Oromite power armor? We all know that he has power over magnetism, hence the name. And with it he can manipulate all types of metal, even Thor's Mjolnir as seen in a couple of instances. While he does have a problem with the magical enchantment over it though, it is stated that the Oromite is inert or inactive at the quantum level, which means it might not dispense out any form of magnetism at all. But even in this case, Magneto can strip the custodians off of his weapon. And then all the 40k warrior can do is throw rocks at the mutant which can be easily dodged or blocked. So no, a custodian would meet his match with Magneto. As to the Scarlet Witch and Doctor Strange, as long as they can cast their spells from afar and with speed, they can counter the Custodes otherwise. If he gets too close, there is nothing they can do to stop the golden clad fighter of the Imperium. The Custodes are built and reinforced to withstand psychic mental attacks and their armor is inert at quantum level meaning it can deflect magical or psychic powers. Scarlet Witch is known for her mastery of chaos magic, which is her main source of strength. And at the same time, Custodes are programmed to be the bulwark against the same type of magic in the Imperium, Chaos from the Warp. They have been seen to fight and slay greater demons of Chaos and at the same time being slayed by the same types of entities. So this fight can go either way. The same goes for Doctor Strange and it all depends on Steven Strange's speed on casting certain kinds of spells. But if he could fend off an Ultron with Infinity Stones, as in the series called What If, he could very well fight off one of these. As for Thor, the Hulk and Captain Marvel, uh, we can all agree that they are either way faster, stronger or have abilities that a custodian cannot match. Thor with his Asgardian physiology and powers would be able to overpower a custodian but then again that depends on the version of Thor. A young Asgardian prince would be around equal and it would end in a draw. But Thor as in his Rune King or ultimate form would be an overkill. The same goes for the Hulk and Captain Marvel. So here we have found where a custodian would sit in the hierarchy of the Marvel Universe. Around the same or a bit lower than the God tier heroes. There are more powerful entities and characters in the Marvel Universe though, which would be interesting if they are compared to more powerful characters of the 40k universe like the Primarchs, 
the Emperor or the Chaos Gods, something that we might dive into in a future video. So if you like this video then check this other one too and if you want to browse for other Warhammer content then check out our channel. So subscribe and like for support and yeah, while you're at it, bang on that bell icon for notifications on new video uploads. Till the next time, take care boys.